Hey everyone, it's your girl Maddie here, aka Beaver Mosh, and today I'm talking to you about infinite mortality from the New Jersey based Replicant, coming off of Transcending Obscurity Records. And this is Replicant's third full length album. This is a band that creates this uniquely dissonant and experimental death metal. It's ferocious, but at times takes on this very abstract writing style. It's an album meant to instill fear as if you're in some horror hell lab with these possessed beings being tested in these cryo chambers set to be released at any moment and you don't know when. The tone, the mood, the way the instruments sound, it's very death metal. But you will quickly see that the passages, the way they choose to layer instruments is not conventional and not typical <laughs> at all. On Acid Mirror, the opening track, we get these very jarring serrated riffs with jagged fills coming in from every corner. It's gross and maddening. Vocally, we get these diseased, erratic howls. It's a particularly vile take on death metal vocals. The playing is rather technical and complex, but not in a way that's flashy. It's technical, weaponized in a way to make the most horrific, un unsatisfying sounds possible. Uh, yes, that is absolutely a compliment. On Shrine to the Incomprehensible, the mood they are able to conjure with these swirling, dissonant guitars and, and, and droning bass riffs is honestly approaching but just total desolation. The drumming is frantic and pummeling, but with a satisfying amount of variety, it's not just straight blast beat for its entirety. I'm not saying there isn't plenty of that, though. Orgasm of Bereavement is just pure chaos, just so much controlled madness and, and noise and just pure hostility. I love these like alien slides and spacey bass runs mixed with these <laughs> zombie-esque vocals here. Ban at times will sink into these slow down, moss-ready sections seamlessly. And <laughs> when they hit, they hit. Reciprocal abandonment now takes the record in a more swampy, hellish direction. Just grabbing you by the throat and dragging you in, making you bathe in its muck. There is here on this track this frightening vocal doubling that they do, adding in this high shrieked, like banshee scream on top of the already just disgusting vocals. Just, I guess, to add another level of horror to all of this. And this, like, triplet pattern the band throws in here. This very gnarly, satisfying gallop. It's just pulled off so, so well. Pain Enduring now is this oddly robotic and, and rigid dirge with these stompy, climbing riffs tail-ended by these honking harmonics. It feels over the top and animated in the most brutal way it could be animated. I don't know if I've properly emphasized just how heavy this thing is. There are moments that are uh, as caveman as caveman death metal goes, while there are other passages that are more complex and kind of whip you around with its talons. Of course, there's plenty of brute force, too. On Necro Tunnel, you get these odd, sludgy, like, tunnel-digging riffs. It's smothering, but also equally cerebral. There are these weird, kind of mathy licks, like they are climbing up a wall as a, as a spider. It's, it's wicked. And a huge appeal of this record is the way the band mixes the arcane and the perplexing with the no BS ferocity. Both of those ideas exist simultaneously in equal measure. Things end with Planet of Skin, this confusing labyrinth of winding guitars, running drums, and just possessed vocals. 
it's 10 minutes of pure experimental death metal insanity. Insane passages stack up with more insane passages getting more expansive and in that way more alien and nutty. Again, there are leads and, and guitar moments that feel intentionally robotic and stiff. There is this unusual, intentional uh, rigidness to it. Everything feels calculated, like this like, demonic coder, yet it still feels perfectly out for blood and corrosive. The band even makes room for some of these more Opeth-like clean passages. Very elemental and mystifying before launching straight into these tree trunk riffs and then back again. Uh, it's just really well written. If you enjoy some of the more dissonant and left field death metal bands out in there, then I can't see you not just enjoying the hell out of this. It really well balances the pure heaviness and brutality with the more oblique style of writing riffs. And when I say this thing is complicated and quote unquote avant-garde it never feels inapproachable i need to i need to stress that the band seems like they always have the listener in mind it's always controlled if you like uncompromising extreme metal in any form i think this record offers a lot to love and i think you should check it out and hey those are my thoughts if you enjoy my review enjoy what i do tell me hit the like button it mean the world to me. If you'd consider subscribing, I have a Twitter you can follow. Link to that is in the bio of this YouTube channel and, and down below. Leave a comment. I love getting to read those and engage with those. Thank you to my patrons. As always, I have a Patreon. No pressure to give financially, but it is an option. I do give monthly exclusive content there. Uh, I'm so grateful that people want to support the show this way. Uh, but if you can't, no pressure. I just really... I'm honored that you're watching this content. Uh, you right there, keep it metal. My name is Maddie, a.k.a. Beaver Mosh, signing off.